the Philippines, my final frontier. These are the journeys of a Florida man, my five-year mission to explore a strange new world, to seek out a new life and friends, to boldly go where no expat has gone before. The window. Well, hi boys and girls, another day at the site, and there's lots of action going on uh, around the windows. Uh, I think it's called precast, um, sort of a border design that goes around the windows. Um, they have to protect the windows from all sorts of dirt and crap. That's why you see the cardboard there. Uh, precast. All right. It is made from cement, I guess. Yeah, let's take a look, see how they're doing this. Is it? Oh yeah, that's cement. Interesting. Okay. Hmm? Good morning. Good morning, sir. Still working on the doors. These doors are getting prepped for the process. Ah, okay, some flooring is starting to appear in the dirty kitchen laundry area. Okay, there's a uh, gray marble type of effect. These are the concrete frames. Precast. Precast. These are the details that you find out once they start building. Oh wow. So they uh, measured right. every window already. Oh that's a nice surprise. I didn't actually know they were going to be doing this. Well, boys and girls, we're here on a Sunday. Take a look at the progress. Window sills look like they're completed on this side of the house. At the site again. And uh, you can see the precast that has been applied to the perimeter of the door. 
Very nice. Also, precast has been added now to the other windows and the door. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. <laughs> it's po it's post day, huh? It's post day, sir. Today we're doing posts. Height is 80.80 centimeter. Ah, that's pretty high up there, huh? Oh, sir. Yeah, that's a nice height. Girls, it's Thursday and we're back at the site and we've been greeted to some priming on the precast and on the front wall. So painting is continuing and it looks pretty good. Oh, look, I just saw something else. Look at this, honey. Uh, it is the, uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, flower box, plant box kind of thingy, border, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Okay. Uh, good morning, boys and girls. Uh, Today I just want to show you a, a little spot here that's going to be cleared away. So our right away uh, has access into the uh, complex. Uh, this has been a big thorn in my ass for probably over a year at this point. We finally got a section of this fence moved. Uh, now I'm told that within a few days we're going to actually get the backhoe to clean this out and uh, make an entrance into the uh, into the site. So let me turn this around and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this little section here is going to be cleaned out so that we can get access into the site. Hey, what do we have here today? Lots of people busy. It's always a good sign. All right, so we got some more tiles. Foreman is putting in some more tiles now, finishing it off. Again, with that dry pack method of uh, tiling. What is it for? The water, the drops, right? Okay. okay. Oh, so okay. they have a hose, man, dig the ano? Um, tubo po, ma'am. Ah, uh, tubo nga ni PBC. Yeah, po, ma'am. Tapos, makonik yan duman. Tapos, ito makonik duman. Tapos, agang makakabot yan duman sa likod, ma'am. Right, right. Igo kita pag-aiting yung sandbox po, ma'am. That's for the runoff from the roof that's where the water will run into I'm not sure what happens then because it doesn't look that very very big and around here that can fill up in probably a minute and a half with water <laughs> 
Okay, so I was just told that uh, there will be a PCB, uh, PCB pipe uh, running into these boxes and uh, around the house and back into the back uh, to flush it all out. So our ceiling decoration <laughs> is now finished. It is gray. I know a lot of you guys said brown. And we were gonna do brown. And then we changed it to gray. Because we have dark gray aluminum frames. And uh, that's what changed our minds. Originally, we didn't have the frames up and we were tending to a little brown. Let's see what's happening in the dirty kitchen. I was just gonna ask, you know, I was just, I was just gonna say what happened to him. You know, well, boys and girls, back at SNR with the kids this time. I'm gonna tear into some pizza, maybe some hot dogs and ice cream. Well, little boy, what is your name? Michael. Uh huh. And what are you doing here? We're going to try some high quality food. Uh huh. Have you been to here uh, SNR before? No. Your first time? Yes. Uh, do you think it's going to be exciting? Yes, totally. Are you hungry? Sure I am. Oh, so you're ready to eat, eat huge quantities? Yes. Okay. That's good. You got something in your eye? No. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. And this is our hall. Second time we're at SM. We got a blueberry cheese. We got some uh, ribeyes. And of course, some uh, hamburger meat. Yeah. Goodbye, my best friend, Cart. And uh, we're ready to go. Oh, we got some pizza. Hey! Dad's got three, three pies. Get in! We're ready to go. So let's go. They got two little monkeys <laughs> hanging on to the uh, cart. Bunch of monkeys. Hey, it's my life. Bunch of monkeys. Okay, boys and girls, it's Saturday and I'm back at the site seeing what has been going on with my uh, right-of-way entrance and the uh, um, backhoe operator was just about to walk away from this and I said, no, 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 this is not complete. He's done half a job and not very good at that, if you ask me, but he needs to clear it all and uh, get it ready uh, like this to be driven over. I can't drive over that. Good thing we showed up when we did. All I can say. That's how it works here. You snooze, you lose. Big time sometimes. Because this backhoe is due to be uh, taken out of here later today or tomorrow. And that's the end of it. So, hopefully they can finish this job correctly.
back at the site, uh, take a look and see uh, what happened here while we were gone. Alright, we're going to need some major work over here, but at least it's cleared. That's the good part. Morning! Morning, sir. Good morning, sir. How you doing today, huh? Ah, started tiling out here, huh? Oh boy. Okay. Lots of tiling to do. Okay, and here's a little excavation work going on, I guess, for the uh, drainage pipes that are going to lead from the ceiling, from the roof. They're digging the drainage pipe. Oh, this one over there with the top. What's up, Pete? Let's go on the other side. All right. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Schedule. Work continues at the front. Outdoor tiling proceeding on schedule. Yes, they are. And the family is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, honey. So we're gonna have the drain, honey. Hmm? Well, hi boys and girls, it's uh, Wednesday the 16th of August and we've come by the site because we're expecting uh, actually two deliveries, one from All Home uh, with our appliances uh, and one is a delivery of uh, the builder. Uh, yeah, from the builder uh, plywood, three quarter inch uh, marine plywood that they're going to start fabricating uh, cabinets from for the different various rooms. Um, the appliances were actually purchased in December of 2022, eight months ago because we were under the false uh, impression that the house would be ready uh pretty much at that time so it's eight months later and all home was good enough to basically store all these appliances for us you uh, even see the receipt honey how much we spent in there right the receipt <laughs> the receipts are faded the thermal <laughs> ink on the receipts are <laughs> are long gone we have the pieces of paper that represented this the receipts but they're, they're gone um, the delivery is today, hopefully, and uh, we're expecting a uh, oven, a uh, washer dryer, a dishwasher, and... The free detergent. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're going to throw in some free detergent, big deal. And uh, we'll see what happens when it gets here. We'll, we'll, we'll show it to you and all that if you're interested. And the plywood. Let's see what that looks like. So... Anyway, we're sitting here uh, on the park bench uh, and uh, just killing time. Uh, we'll check back with you when we get some action. Bye. <laughs> it's Thursday and they finally showed up with our appliances. Let's go see what's going on. Afternoon. Yes. Um, uh, there he is. We got the uh, truck. Uh, 
And there's all the plywood for the uh, shelving in the walk-in closet in the bedroom. They're going to cut that up and modify it and finish it off and construct our uh, closet from that. It's the molding, paint, other things. But today is all about the appliances. Washer, dryer, oven, dishwasher. Okay. See, you got the pipes. This what you said? Yeah. I think so. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we, we can get yeah. like that. Yeah. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. And I think that's the oven, our uh, built-in oven. Built-in oven. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bosch built-in oven, and that's a Bosch dishwasher. Uh, the price was a lot higher than it uh, was in the United States for the lower uh, quality, the lower model. Expensive. Lower oh, models here cost as much as the high model. I mean, the best model in America. Pero tagalan ko sa akin na ay may ilikaw mga pictures na kung talaga ano mga kaya ko ako pang gibawo. Eh po eh yung. This is a standalone unit. The installed unit was ridiculously priced. Beyond beyond affordability. Do you remember how much this cost? How much these things cost us? What is it? This cancer? Seventy-two. This is the. Seventy-two thousand. Huh? Seventy-two thousand. This was seventy-two thousand pesos. Yeah. Washer dry. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, dishwasher. The one original like was. And, uh, how much is that uh, oven? It's seventy-six. Seventy-six thousand. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the washing machine, Samsung washing machine, dryer. Yep. Oh, they didn't forget our package. Oh, look at that. <laughs> what? Why oh, big deal. <laughs> big deal. Insert of honey. <laughs> For the price of this, they should give me a year supply. <laughs> they should give me a year supply for what when I paid for that. Supply. It's not funny. No, it's not funny here, and we're trying to figure out where we're going to put the electrical post and how high the electrical post should be. The electrical company says 35 feet. <laughs> Builder says 17 feet. Um, don't know what's going on.
Thanks for watching. We got to go now.